But 80 years later, we still come to the time of the, of the book of Esther, which I love preaching about 80 years later because there's still a large contingent of the Hebrew people that live in the East and their home is in the East. And by then, some generations of people had been in the East. But Esther, whose translated name means star, and he through the time later after Daniel of those in the East, people like Nehemiah, who was cupbearer to a leader called Artaxerxes, who happened to be, by the way, the stepson of Esther. Nehemiah the cupbearer, a high official. And then we have the move even of Nehemiah to bring back the Jewish people out of Babylon and back and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. This influence that starts with a 16-year-old captive and one who was captive all of their life in a foreign land serving faithfully had such influence, such influence as this. Let me read it from Matthew chapter two. I'm gonna read verses one through 12. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has born, born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. Where do you think they got that? 16-year-old captive listening to God. 